So UCLQ is UCL's Institute for Quantum Science and Technology. The goal of UCLQ was to bring together this research from these diverse departments around uh, UCL for increased collaboration between the, the different types of research in quantum science and technology, and also open up new opportunities for training, for industrial collaborations, and for innovation. And I think also one of the things that sets us apart in the UK is the breadth of research in quantum science and technology, whether it's quantum computing or quantum sensors or architectures and algorithms, and really across a wide range of different physical systems, from atomic and optical systems and through to solid state systems such as those based on semiconductors or superconducting circuits. So I'm currently developing chip scale optical inertial sensors as well as optical atomic clocks in a bid to create indoor navigation as well as positioning devices. So starting the spin-out company really lets me investigate that industry, pull what they want, work with them, partner up with them on a much more mature level in terms of thinking about a product. Whereas having one foot still in academia allows me to really nurture new ideas, but I think there's a long road where academics and researchers are still needed to keep the technology fresh, make it mature, de-risk it, and keep attracting the industry attention that we need. Industry can get involved in many different ways in what we do in the Centre for Doctoral Training. We have a regular series of talks by our industrial partners who come in and give one hour or maybe whole morning lectures to our students about how to apply the advances in quantum technological science in their industrial sector. We also have uh, transferable skills courses delivered by uh, industrial partners, for example, in how to publish scientific articles or how to exploit uh, intellectual property rights. We have joint research projects between our industrial partners and the Centre for Doctoral Training, which usually involve co-funding and collaboration of a PhD student project over a period of three years. The main goal for our industrial partners is to get access to a pool of extremely talented students. That's a fantastic opportunity to get very talented students working on problems of interest to them that can make sure that when the quantum revolution comes, these companies are not left behind, they have the right technology in place, they have the right people and skills in place to exploit those innovations. I'd say really there's never been a better time to get involved in quantum technologies and, and indeed to collaborate with UCLQ. And partly that's due to how the technologies are developing, that they're now at the state of maturity, that it's appropriate. But also driven by that, the UK government has been making huge investments in quantum technologies. They've recently announced almost half a billion pounds of investment um, to support the UK quantum technology program. And what's different about this program is the uh, increased focus on industry playing a role in that development. So there's opportunities for collaboration um, through things like the Industry Strategy Challenge Fund and Innovate UK to then work with UCLQ uh, to co-develop quantum technologies and collaborate on unblocking some of the key research challenges to realizing the potential of those technologies.